Hello everyone, this is your German teacher Erhan Özdemir from Istanbul, Turkey. In this lesson, we are going to learn Zollen. Zollen modal verb stands for should. Let's get started. First of all, I want to conjugate Zollen. Ich soll, du sollst, er soll, sie soll, es soll, wir sollen, Ihr sollt, sie sollen, sie sollen. I want you to repeat after me, please. Ich soll, ich soll. Du sollst, du sollst. Er soll, er soll. Sie soll, sie soll. Es soll, es soll. Wir sollen, wir sollen, ihr sollt, ihr sollt, sie sollen, sie sollen. Now, I want you to look at the examples here. First of all, we are going to see a regular uh, sentence and then after we are going to add the sollen, uh, sollen modal uh, verb in the Uh, sentence and see how we conjugate it. In the first uh, sentence we see ich stehe früh auf, aufstehen, as we had that before in the trennbare verben, that's a separable verb and in the infinitive form it's written as aufstehen, we had that before uh, in detail. For those who didn't watch the video, I want, I strongly recommend you to watch the trennbare verben, which stands for separable verbs, okay? Here, aufstehen, as I uh, mentioned this before, uh, we are going to uh, conjugate this with stehen, here, with the stem. And according to ich, it will uh, be conjugated as ich stehe, and here, this gets to the ending. And therefore, ich stehe früh auf, aufstehen uh, means to wake up or to stand up. But here in this context, it means to wake up. So, I wake up stands for ich stehe auf, früh, early. So, I uh, wake up early, ich stehe früh auf, okay? So, what do I do if I put sollen? When there is a separable verb in a sentence and I want to add a modal verb, it could be sollen, können, müssen and all the other uh, modal verbs. If I put that, I am going to use the verb as infinitive and even if it's a modal, uh, if it's a separable verb, I don't uh, separate the, this. Uh, so, aufstehen will stay as infinitive And what I'm going to uh, conjugate is sollen. So I'll say, ich soll früh aufstehen. I should, I should wake up early. So I should wake up early stands for, ich soll früh aufstehen. So I conjugated sollen for the ich form, ich soll, and this remains the same, which is aufstehen, to wake up. I should wake up early. Ich soll früh aufstehen. Look at the next sentence. Here we have Du lernst Deutsch, which is obvious. Deutsch for German. Lernen, learn. Du for you, right? So you are learning German, but even this could be you learn German, okay? So you are uh, the ING form or in the uh, present time actually and the ing form could be du lernst Deutsch, okay? So what do I do if I put the sollen modal verb? Here we have du sollst, the conjugation for du is sollst. So I'll say du sollst, okay? So I conjugate this and the lernst will be in the infinitive form and I'll say you should learn German for Du sollst Deutsch lernen. You should learn German. Du sollst Deutsch lernen. In the next 
Example we have er macht Sport Sports machen to make he makes sports he does the exercises he does sports right so er macht Sport what do I do for the sollen uh, form er soll right it is conjugated as er soll so I'll say then er soll Sport machen remains as the infinitive form so he makes sports he does sports er macht sport he should do sports er soll sport machen i want you to repeat after me please ich stehe früh auf ich stehe früh auf ich soll früh aufstehen ich soll früh aufstehen Du lernst Deutsch. Du lernst Deutsch. Du sollst Deutsch lernen. Du sollst Deutsch lernen. Er macht Sport. Er macht Sport. Er soll Sport machen. Er soll Sport machen. Let's continue with the next exercise. Wir hören klassische Musik. Hören, to hear, to listen. Klassische Musik, classical music. So, we are listening to classical music stands for Wir hören klassische Musik in German. Okay, so, wir hören klassische Musik. This is a sentence where there is no sollen. So what do I do when I want to put sollen? We need to look at the chart here. It says wir sollen. It's conjugated as sollen. So it remains the same actually, sollen. So what do I do? Wir sollen klassische Musik hören. So it remains the same as infinitive form, but also uh, in the wir, wir form, it is uh, conjugated as hören. Uh, I mean, it remains the same. So we'll say then, we should listen to classical music. Wir sollen klassische Musik hören. As I said, this remains as uh, infinitive form. And what I conjugate is sollen. So wir sollen klassische Musik hören. In the next example, it says, ihr macht Urlaub. Urlaub stands for vacation, okay? So you are, uh, we don't say doing uh, vacation in English, right? We say we are on vacation. So in German they say uh, they do uh, vacation. So ihr macht Urlaub, okay? Um, uh, as I want to put sollen, what do I do? I conjugate this with ihr sollt. So, Ihr sollt Urlaub machen, machen as infinitive. So, ihr is uh, the second plural form when I mention uh, two or more people, a group of people. So, I'll say ihr, ihr sollt Urlaub machen. You should uh, go on vacation, actually. Okay, so you should uh, go on vacation. Ihr sollt Urlaub machen. In the following example we have the sentence Sie essen Gemüse. Essen to eat. Gemüse, vegetable. Sie essen Gemüse. Sie, uh, actually Sie, uh, has three different kind of meanings. When we look at the chart, here we have Sie in the third singular form, which stands for she, but this could be also a noun, which stands for the. But here we have the polite version of saying you, the, and the as the third plural form of saying they. So what do I do in, in, uh, in German when I have a sentence like this, sie essen Gemüse, you eat vegetable, or they eat vegetable. I need to look to the previous sentence and uh, find the logic. 
And according to this, I will understand that I mean they or I mean you. So we could either say you or they. I want to uh, yeah, follow this with you form. So if I say sie essen Gemüse, you are eating vegetable or you eat vegetable as I mentioned this before. This could be an ing form or the uh, general way of saying you always eat vegetable. So if I say sie essen Gemüse, yeah, this is uh, obvious. Uh, suppose. So what do I do when I want to put sollen to this? I conjugate this as sollen so it remains the same. So I'll say then sie sollen, I put this in the second position, Gemüse essen. You should eat vegetable, sie sollen Gemüse essen. I want you to repeat after me please. Wir hören klassische Musik. Wir hören klassische Musik. Wir sollen klassische Musik hören. Wir sollen klassische Musik hören. Ihr macht Urlaub. Ihr macht Urlaub. Ihr sollt Urlaub machen. Ihr sollt Urlaub machen. Sie essen Gemüse. Sie essen Gemüse. Sie sollen Gemüse essen. Sie sollen Gemüse essen. In this video, we have learned sollen modal verb, which stands for should. I hope you liked it. I want you to subscribe to our channel, leave comments, hit the bell button for further more videos, and share these. Uh, lessons with those who want to learn the German language. In this video, I want to share a Turkish word with you, which stands for good morning. It means in Turkish, Günaydın. Günaydın. See you in the next video. Tschüss!